All right, guys. Today I got a special feature with you. One of one of one. Most of the features that we've done on the channel have been Integra, EG, EK. But today I got this super clean Del Sol. Not to mention right hand drive, and it's boosted. So get ready. Check it out. All right, guys, so today we got Key and his super clean right hand drive Del Sol. So, Key, tell me about uh, the Del Sol. It's a 93 Del Sol right hand drive trans top. Okay. First United States owner. It is a fully built turbo car, of course. Yeah. It has a C28 wheels with ITR calipers, spoon rotors, K tune coilovers, skunk front and rear camber kits. It has Prothane RTA rear trailing arm bushings. Okay. Every bushing on the car, tie rod, ball joint has been replaced with OEM Honda. Okay. It's just kind of the way we do things around here. Yeah. And then uh, pretty much the lip is a front EG lip. Oh, wow. With OEM EG hardware that's been custom fitted to fit. The exterior of the car, I didn't do much to it because I wanted to kind of build an OEM plus build. Okay. So I left the side skirts black. These are black. The, the exhaust on the car is a Magnaflow muffler with the custom high cut turn down. Oh, wow. With three inch V band clamps all the way through, so there's no bolts in it. Wow. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the paint is pristine. Like I said, I left it a nine, like a OEM plus build. Okay. And my other buddy has a 97 Del Sol front end, so I wanted to do the older front end. Oh. Kind of just be different from Yeah. That, you know I don't want to be a biter. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? So, yeah, man, it's just the OEM plus build. Dang. Everything on this car was meticulously chosen. There's no knockoff parts on it at all. Okay. So what's the difference between, you said there's two different versions of the Del Sol. So I know the other ones have a little bubble eye in the middle, right? Yeah, yeah. It's the, called the Dolphin Nose front end. It's oh. the one with the no fog lights on the bumper. Okay. Yeah, but like I said, my other buddy has a fully built Del Sol too. But he... He's actually pretty prominent in the community, so okay. I wanted to build something that was completely different. Nice. Honestly, because I, get, I got a lot of inspiration from his build as okay. well, and it's kind of the reason I wanted to build so Nice. So was this the original paint, or was it a whole color change? No, this is a whole color change wow. from the jams and the bay out. Dang. Everything on the firewall has been refinished. All mm -hmm. the brake master cylinders have been touched up. Pretty much anything that was needed to be addressed got addressed wow okay and so what color is it is it uh just a regular silver or is it a... it's a vogue silver metallic oh wow yeah. okay wow okay now one other thing i saw on the back end was i think we talked about this earlier was the um the license plate lights yeah, yeah. the on the jdm cars the license plate lights come out from the side okay but on usdm they come out from the top and on the USDM, this is kind of just empty, like an oh, empty space. Okay. Mm -hmm. nice. The tail lights have subtle differences in the reflectors. Yeah. There's just little tiny differences in the car between yeah. USDM and JDM. Wow. Okay, and what coilovers had you were running? These are K2 street coilovers. Okay. They've been corner weighted and balanced at Chew Works. Okay. That's where I got my uh, alignments for all my race cars at. Okay. Nice. Like in the Habra area. The, yeah, the car rides really nice, man. Especially with all the new bushings, ball joints. Okay, nice. And then this this Mac Blue is just always just phenomenal. So we got a C28s. What are the what are the specs on here? Uh, Sixteen by seven plus forty two. Oof, that's a good offset. Yeah, got the ITR calipers on there, the twenty two Ts with okay. hawk pads and spoon rotors. We touched up all the edges so no rust will be visible. Oh, nice. After the, I, I just hate looking in there and seeing rust. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then interior-wise, what do we have going on? It looks very subtle. 
not too over the top yeah yeah we honestly i wanted to keep it oem but yeah pretty much the only thing done on the interior is a old school first generation arc shift knob Ooh. momo monte carlo uh -huh. 350 with chasing jay's hardware and chasing jay's horn the interior is just kind of clean oem type i thing. love this, this the seat weren't seats aren't like ripped up or anything yeah i love this the, those little titanium bits but that arc <clears throat> shift knob looks so good dang the interior is all butter no cracks nothing yeah, no cracks. and those those little seats they feel like buckets i've sat in a set before they really like hug you yeah okay and then um one other factor we were talking about before this it's a trans top definitely trans top so explain to the viewers how this works the trans top is a little different from usdm because the usdm you have to open your trunk like this uh-huh manually remove the trunk and put it into your trunk oh, okay so you kind of lose trunk space and storage space yeah but the jdm car the the roof comes directly up the trunk comes directly up and the roof goes directly into the trunk oh wow so you have all the trunk space you can still use oh that's cool and you don't have to get out the car and like potentially scratch your roof and oh okay that cetera, makes sense cetera, you know? um do you want to show the people how it actually works so they kind of have an idea yeah yeah no no problem dude. okay sequence with this button. The trans top itself is going to stop for safety reasons. And the car will start beeping to let you know to disengage the latches. So once you disengage the latches, you can go back to So sick. And once you latch them down, it's a wrap, man. That's so dope. <laughs> so, if most of you don't know, this car is up for raffle, right? Yes. So let's uh, give the viewers, you know, a little heads up of what's going on. Um, who? You, obviously, it's your car. But um, who the raffles uh, going through? It's uh, Import Auto Pros. Yeah, Dave at Import Auto Pros is hosting the raffle. He uh, does a lot of dyno tuning and engine builds and turbo fabrication in the area. A lot of people know him. Okay. So <clears throat> this car wasn't built for a raffle okay. or to be sold or to make money or anything like that. I built the car solely for the love of the Honda game. Like I grew up in the Honda era, uh -huh. so. Hondas are the cars that I prefer to build. Okay. So it definitely wasn't a money thing. After taxes and you know the cost of building the car, there's not much left over, man. So okay. it's not we're not looking to make money hand over fist. It's truly for the love of the sport. Man. That's dope. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. That's sick. So everything that was put on here was higher end stuff. You're not gonna find like Chinese knockoff stuff. Okay. It's really just higher higher caliber build. Okay. Yeah. A lot of OEM Honda bits with little added uh tasteful parts exactly. and so anyone that wants to enter the raffle they go to import auto pros on ig and they have a link we'll put the link in the description for you guys if you want to get entered to win this car so um next thing i know everyone it's right hand drive del sol was there any any was what was the hardest part of having registered in the states it's actually registered under the 25 year law oh it nice it wasn't that hard at all i went with the importer down to the uh DMV, the department uh -huh. licensing, yeah. and registered it within 30 minutes as well, out, walking out of there. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's under the 25-year law, so it could be registered in any, any state. Okay. Was it easier to register outside of California? Definitely, man. Okay. I'm from Washington, so I have all my cars registered in Washington. Oh, dope. That makes oh, sense. Yeah, so I don't have to deal with the bureaucratic California stuff. Okay. That makes sense. It's painful to raise yourself here. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's... Oh. And dodging, you know what I mean? oh, I know. It's just, it's, it's, it's like it's, it gets harder in California just to build any car in general. Exactly. I mean, back in the day, Hondas were just like, nope, impound it. Nope, ref. 
now it's like we barely the, the Honda guys barely even get like a, um, hassled. It's now these guys doing the, the street takeovers and whatnot. And Bro, in Washington, they don't even have emissions, man. What? There's people rolling around with Fender Exit four inch turbo exhaust. Wow. They do not give a damn up there, bro. That's crazy. There's a lot of epic builds, man, in yeah. Washington, man. I've seen some people, dope builds. People are sleeping on it, man. Like, yeah. I've told some Cali homies that they're like, nah, 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 I can't. Do <laughs> Dude, there's some serious builds in Washington. Very clean, like fully built cars, man. I'm yeah. talking like full paintwork, you know what I mean? Dang. Yeah. Okay. Anybody could be fast, man. Yeah. But paintwork's on a whole nother level. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Damn. Yeah, this, this silver just is just timeless it looks it's butter and then the, the wheel is just accented so well we were just talking about it. we're gonna have to put this car in the sunlight just so you can get, see the color the vibrant color of how the the mag blue pops with the silver so it's boosted so i know the viewers probably want to know what's under the hood yeah and, under the hood is a lsv tech turbo 84 millimeter with rs machine sleeves it has a cp 9 to 1 pistons but we put ferrea 6000 valves in there so it's about 9 2 to 1 compression okay Manly Turbo Tough Rods with 625 hardware, uh, King Bearings, JE Pro Seal head gasket with the V16 head with Ferrea valve train. Oh wow. 6,000 valves, Ferrea keepers, the whole nine. Okay. And then it's rocking uh, C5 ITR camshafts, uh -huh. Golden Eagle cam gears. I wanted to keep it like a real mild OEM build. Okay. I don't want to go with like the crappy idling cams yeah you know what i mean like, yeah i wanted to build it for the street man so like even the intake manifold is a stock itr intake manifold oh wow stock itr throttle body okay just uh yeah i always heard the itr manifolds are just the best way to go besides you know running skunk tour or like an edelbrock manifold itr ones are the way to go you exactly. just you'd probably just port it you can and, cut them and port them too yeah man. but this is just a, a full oem one man. oh wow yeah yeah okay so you want to show the viewers what how the bay looks yeah. i saw you guys and dude I saw this at Irwindale. What was it for? It was an event. USDM Super yes. And Mike G was like, dude, you got to check out my homies Del Sol. And this thing is just tits. Dude. Oh my gosh. Look how bling the manifold is. The downpipe. Dang. That weld work. Did you polish or chrome the polish. downpipe? Okay. Yeah. Everything's polished. Even the charge piping's polished. Once I get the overflow for the coolant in, mm -hmm. I'm gonna polish this as well oh, before sick. the new owner takes it. Okay. But like, yeah, like everything was redone, man. Painted engine bay, new reservoirs, new power steering setup. Wow. Yeah, the paint here on the bay looks just brand new. Yeah, like we, nothing on the wiring harness was cut. This is a full factory OEM harness. Wow. Zero cuts. Dang. I wanted to keep it fully intact for the next owner so uh -huh. that way the Honda purists can't get their panties in a bunch. <laughs> yeah. I know the guys that are like pure <laughs> to the heart. Why'd you do that? You should have used another harness. Exactly. Yeah. This Man. motor can make a lot more power than 500 too, but we wanted to keep it at a, a point where the new owner can just put pump gas in it and enjoy it. Okay. Without having to worry about all the problems that come with the E85 or running race gas. Okay. That makes yeah, sense. This, this motor is pretty much built to handle about 800 horsepower. Dang. So what does it make right now? It makes 502 okay. on 91 on 20 pounds, but I got boost by gear in it. Oh yeah. Speed factory four port boost controller. Mm -hmm. You can't really see it because I have it tucked away here in the bumper right Yeah. Here, in the core support area. Okay. So it's kind of just out of the way. So you can't nice. really see it. Yeah. I feel like everything's just very OEM plus, like it's meant to sit in this car. Yeah. That, that was pretty much the goal, man, is just to do OEM plus. We did all like zinc bolts. You know, the motor doesn't even have one spot of oil on it. I noticed every Zero. time you none. see oil, it's going to be right where the head and the block meet. <laughs> yeah, none. No oil. Dang. When we put the head gasket in, it was copper sealed. Okay. Yeah. Dang. Wow. Everything just redone, man. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much what it is. And anything that I didn't redo, Yeah. it, it wasn't functioning correctly. Like oh. a seal would leak or something. So. Yeah. I've just come to, like, whenever a bill gets done, just get everything new, man. Spend a couple hundred bucks extra. Yeah. Get it new or it's going to cause you some grief later. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think that's one thing I learned, like, coming to the Honda game, you know. When it came to certain parts or certain wheels, you know, you got to, obviously, you start with Rota. Some guys go to Anki and then, yeah, you, you save a couple bucks, get the Volks, get the Mugens. But then it's like, you know, you, you save your money and it's worth it. And then when it comes to actual parts for your car, it's either you go OEM or a good, uh, well-known brand 
that has a, a, a long reputable name. Definitely. Because like if you if you go the cheap route, it's gonna break. It's gonna something's gonna, gonna happen. For it later. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. So like all the seals on the car are brand new. All the power steering pump seals, everything. Because you can actually see here that this top mount turbo has a power steering in it. Oh wow! Which yeah. Is absurd. Yeah. That's very tight. Like top mount setup. Absurd. Yeah. Dang. Yep. ATI fluid damper. There's just a lot of um, little tidbits on here. Okay. A lot of these little clips have been, you know. All these OEM clips, OEM Honda clips. they're still available online if you can find them. <laughs> Dang, so 500. And when you meant drive by gear, how drive does. By, drive by, uh, boost by gear. Okay, so what's theirs compared to like if someone chooses a, a regular tune? A regular tune, it'll just run the same boost levels and power levels okay. in every gear. Yeah. So when you run like 500 horsepower in like first gear, second gear, it honestly literally just does a smoke show. Oh, the yeah. The car doesn't really go anywhere. It just lights them up, man. Okay. So what we did is uh, tuned it down in the lower gear so that way the driver can have traction and actually move, you know? Yeah. Instead of just doing a smoke show and being kind of... <laughs> not efficient with it you know? yeah yeah definitely it, it gets all the beams in third and fourth gear oh nice yeah. first and second i'd say it's probably on like 12 to 13 pounds around there okay nice i mean they could take the boost controller off but they'll, they'll see that they need it you know? yeah yeah i think i sold a turbo timer and a boost controller to some guy back in the day and he's like, do i need it i'm like yeah, yeah and then definitely. i remember i saw some kid with a wrx a while back and it was just, it was just sounding horrible. I was like, do you have a turbo timer? He's like, no. Do you have a boost controller? He's like, no. I was like, get it. Get a turbo timer. It'll expand the life of your turbo. And then the boost controller, it'll just be easier to control your car for one. Because he's a young kid. You know, a lot of kids just want to get a car and go fast. It's like, it's one thing to go fast. But if you can have a car, uh, your engines, you know, you're saving the, the life of your engine, but also being able to control it. Yeah. The, the, a lot of kids, they don't know what it takes to pretty much own a car like this. You know yeah. what I mean? It yeah. takes a... A little bit of patience. You gotta be able to address problems as they yeah. arise. You know? Yeah, I know a lot of times, you know, building a turbo car, um, there, there's issues. I had a friend that always, he had like a, always had a leak or just wasn't getting enough oil to the turbo or what whatnot. But like you said, it takes a lot of patience, money and time Definitely. with building a turbo car. But you know, once it's running right, you're like, okay. Yeah, I've been <laughs> daily driving this thing to make sure that there's no bugs. Okay at all so there's no leaks no hiccups in the car right now it's just everything's been worked out man nice. like, literally the motor is spotless yeah underneath spotless yeah it looks butter from here yeah just the car has a lot of an lines too like all my fuel system oh has I braided lines yeah Dang. speed factory uh pretty much uh what's it called Speed factory, uh, the block off the bungs. For oh, the catch cans, I, yeah, catch can bungs. I actually got those and put them on my B16B because mm -hmm. I had, I didn't have the actual uh, the the factory one that goes on the back of the You're block. You're running a drain back. Yeah, drain backs are the best, man. Yeah, I got baffling in here, mm -hmm. so no oil is gonna drain back. But oh, I nice. just did it for maintenance purposes okay because i see guys are shit filling up and like oh like, yeah if your shit's filling up you got blow by issues dude yeah you got more issues than just the size of your catch can oh, okay you that makes I mean? sense like this under full acceleration you barely even see any anything even any fumes coming out yeah because i remember uh, if you like see certain cars on down you just see like the humidity come off of it yeah yeah humidity is actually good when it, uh, a good motor is gonna produce a moisture okay you know? that means that it's sealed properly okay nice Heck yeah. Um, any shout outs you want to give before we close out the video here? Yeah, man. Shout out to uh, Under Pressure Racing Development. He's the one that gave me, he's the one that built this uh, top mount turbo manifold that is works with my power steering system. Mm -hmm. Definitely shout out to Import Auto Pros for completing the rest of my fabrication after I moved down to California. Okay. And dyno tuning it and going above and beyond what uh, good customer service is. Man. Nice definitely a trustworthy place that you could come to get work done on your car without mm -hmm. having to stress about it okay and then uh where's it where auto pros is located in uh it's in uh stanton okay garden close to garden grove area okay yeah. nice so they if got you get... dyno tuning there they're really really on point they have a lot of uh like track support uh -huh. so if you go to the track you need some adjustments made uh -huh. they definitely give track support so okay dope yes yeah, so you guys are in the in the area import auto pros 
Also, if you guys want to get entered for the raffle, check them out on IG. We'll put the description in the video below and also check out his IG, which we'll put in the video so you guys can follow him on Instagram. And hopefully one of you guys will win this car because this thing is butter. Right hand drive does so with a turbo, a turbo motor making 500 horsepower. I think it'd be where I might even answer myself. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. But I think everyone wants to see how this car runs. So I think we should do that next. Cool. VIP guys, uh, you know, they'll put some crazy offset wheels on their on their car, yeah. and the fenders are just mutilated. Yeah, usually I, I deal with a guy named Mr. Sexy S2K. Yeah, he here. did mine on my EG. Shout out Mr. Sexy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did my EG a while back. He does but everybody's out here. Dude, man. he travels too. Mr. Sexy's the man. He, he doesn't do the roller either. He does it like he uh, grinds it. The PDR style. Yeah. yeah. Shout out Mr. Sexy. Shout out Mr. Sexy. If you want your fenders rolled, hit him up IG. I'll drop his info below. 